Hi YouTube, my name is Nigel Gardner. I'm here to talk about all things guitar related, specifically today, the blues. I'm gonna take some rhythm from the blues, such as. And take that kind of approach to playing blues rhythm and just look at it from as if it were grades one to eight and how you'd break them up. So let me know in the comments what you think. I hope you find these useful and hopefully quite enjoyable to play. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Let's get into it. Grade one. All right, here we are starting at the beginning. What is there to say really, apart from keep your first and your third fingers quite spaced out with your thumb in the middle. Hopefully we're gonna to progress to the point where you can use your little finger on the fifth fret. So it does make sense to use fingers one and three. Um, I am also just putting my hand on the strings just to make sure that they... This, this right hand is quite busy. It's, it's constantly coming up and down on the strings. I think all the work for this riff is probably in that right hand, really. All right, next up, grade two. Okay, so for this riff, I just used my third finger going up to the fifth fret, but I also used the little finger. Just to show you, there's kind of the two options of two ways of approaching this. If you choose not to use the little finger, that's fine, but by about grade four or five, you'll start to run into problems where you need it, so it is worth getting used to using it now. All right, onwards, grade three, check it out. So the only real difference between this riff and the grade two riff is probably just the timing. There's no real technical difference in terms of actually fingering these notes. It's just the one, two, three, four, and, and two, three, four. It's jumping over the first beat of the bar on that second bar. One, two, three, four, and, and two, three, four. So at this point, I should probably recommend that you start using a metronome to practice because it's hard to judge how perfectly you're getting the timing right unless you have that solid click that doesn't doesn't wait around for you, you know, it's just there. So bam, 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 bam. That is quite important to get really comfortable with before we move on. All right, next up, grade four. All right, so this riff is trying to keep hold of the things we used in grades two and three, where we've got the little finger on the fifth fret. I'm also pushing the beat ahead of that. One, two, three, four, and, and two, three, four, jumping over the one. Uh, the only extra inclusion, of course, is the hammer-ons. So we've got this. That, now you're starting to talk about using all four fingers. I think that's where things start to step up seriously because you're using Let's take a look at grade five. This is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. So for the first time, we have a riff which has to have the little finger on the five because the other fingers are simply too busy to be moving around that much. I might just quickly try and play it now without my little finger just to see if that works. Yeah, it just feels amateur. It feels like you're stretching in a way that you shouldn't be. Um, I, don't, I don't like it. What can I say? Use four fingers. All right, grade six. I think what makes this riff grade six is probably just the speed. I mean, you're using four fingers, you're actually using four strings. We have that low G at the end. That's a quarter bend. They're both quarter bends in there. Um, yeah, this is kind of simple, it's just fast. All right, grade seven, let's go. full 
A major chord, so this C sharp is now included. I'm taking that chord, which is a D slash A, zero, four, two, three. You might recognize it from freeze all right now. It's a great little chord. And when, I, when we go up to the five, I have seen riffs where they'll keep hold of the two. So you go five, two, five. It's quite hard though. I don't want to include that in grade seven, it seems a bit too much. So I'm just playing, I'm just blocking the G. We got the fives. So you got. That's important that we block that G string at that point. Um, when I do the little hammer ons, I'm going pick, I'm picking down, down, up. I think that's important to mention. Down, 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 up. It's the end of the riff that I think is just slightly unusual and what I would consider to make it grade seven, just slightly throws you off a little bit. That kind of... This is the point where we should probably talk about looping any sections that cause us problems. So let's take that last bar and just loop it round and round. Alright, grade 8, this is the one I've been waiting for. Let's take a look. Alright, things to mention, we've got this chord, the A7. So I'm just barring that with one finger and playing the 3. And at the end of the lick we have this... I wanted to include some low notes because it's they're, they're easily forgotten about, but they they sound cool. Like all of these licks, it's worth breaking it down a bit. So let's just take the end of this lick and see if we can loop it. I would approach it that way with a metronome, as always. And um, that's probably it. So there you have it, grades one to eight on rock and roll blues guitar. The tabs for this will be free on my Patreon page, link in the description. If you found this lesson useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you again in another video. Cheers guys.